itself with the remarks which have been made so far regarding the horror and distress which we all will have felt at the news from Florida uh, last night. The, this terrible atrocity is a reminder that despite all the social advances and changes and the legislative framework over recent years in this part of the world, although we haven't completed the journey yet, and all around the world, the fact is that uh, LGBT people still face uh, a hatred, they still face violence. Uh, Uganda has been mentioned, and anyone who looks at the uh, background to the treatment of LGBT people in uh, Uganda and the killings uh, going on there uh, will be aware of the extent of the problem, not just in the United States, but uh, elsewhere. I welcome the statement made last night by LGBT uh, against Islamophobia which appealed an international organization, which appealed the people not to allow this atrocity to be used to whip up hatred against any section of the community, and in particular, not to allow it to be used to intensify the Islamophobia which is being spread in the United States, including by very powerful people. I regard it as ominous that one of the presumptive presidential candidates in the United States last night issued a statement announcing that he will be expressing his forthright views in a major speech on Orlando tonight. We wait to hear what he has to say, but it would be foolish uh, of any of us to imagine that this atrocity is not going to be used for nefarious purposes by people who are peddlers of hate to exactly the same extent as are the Islamic fundamentalist ideologues who are behind the thinking uh, of those who perpetrated uh, this atrocity. I think it is also a relevant to mention, given that reference has been made to people from other cultures coming here among us, to point to the fact that the presumed perpetrator of the Orlando atrocity was American-born. He did not come from anywhere but from the local neighborhood. It is also the case to keep in mind that Western forces do not simply come among people of Muslim lands but actually come above them in drones or in aeroplanes and have been massacring, massacring thousands of Muslims over recent years. That is not in any way by one iota or a sliver of one percent a justification for what happened in Orlando, but it is part of the context in which we could understand it. We should be against all hatred and all killing, no ask, matter where it comes from. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker.